Google just came out with their version of chat of custom GPTs or Claude projects. It's called Gems in Gemini Apps. And let, in this video, we're gonna review it and see if it's worth your while because you need the premium version of Gemini or Gemini for work, which is around $23 a month to be able to access it. So if you use Gemini quite a bit and you've got the premium version, you'll see this gem manager in the bottom left hand side corner. If I click on that, I'll see that I've got a couple of pre-populated gems made by Google. And essentially they're pretty much exactly like a custom GPT only in my opinion, not as good, but let's check them out, right? Let's go and try the brainstormer. And again, this is very reminiscent of a custom GPT. There's also kind of questions that I can ask it. Um, what are some good SEO tips for a beginner? Because that's what we do in this channel. We are all about SEO and how to optimize your search engine, search engine optimization for um, your website with the help of artificial intelligence. If you want to get serious about that and learn how to rank your website, you should check out our free community, the AI ranking community, where you learn a bunch of stuff. There's a lot of free resources there that you can get started with. But back to Gemini. Uh, okay, I'm looking to optimize. Let's optimize a blog. But you get the idea, I'm not gonna go too far into this particular gem. Uh, because it's not such a gem in my opinion. Anyway, the important thing is when we start creating a new gem. This is, again, very reminiscent of a custom GPT. Let's say, call, make a gem, call it the SEO optimizer, and it's gonna help us optimize content that we give it. I'm gonna call it SEO improver because I've got two other SEO optimizers that are made in the preparation for this video. This is the one thing I really do like about this uh, gems, that when I start writing the instructions, I can then click this button over here, it'll become active and it'll vastly improve my prompt. Let me show you, let me write a little bit of a prompt first. So I've thought it to act like an SEO copy expert copywriter, help me improve the conti or the content, sorry. Uh, by making it more SEO friendly and providing me with actionable improvements. I've left some mistakes there on purpose, so I can show you this if I give it a little while. I'm sure they've got a, another prompt that acts like as a prompt engineer in the background, which is pretty good. Let's check this out. So it gives it the purpose and a goal already, the behaviors and the rules, like a pretty solid prompt. It's a bit like the anthropic generate a prompt which is incredible as well if you haven't used it it is really good it's the same thing you put a prompt in here and it'll vastly improve it as well so it's kind of like that in this automatically and then once i've created this i can start testing it in real life here perfect it's telling me to share a blog that it can start optimizing it let's do that i've got a blog prepared here i'm just going to paste it and perfect, it's giving me some advice. Let's see, strengths, um, idle Oco offers improvement, areas of improvement, that's pretty good. Uh, actionable improvements, internal linking, that's really good, additional tips, yada, yada, yada. Uh, I can check, double check response like I can with Gemini already, but um, yeah, not too bad. I can save this so that I can refer to it later and use the same, uh, I was gonna say custom GPT, same gem as before. And that's really about it. You can talk to it and you can add files. Um, if you've connected your plugins, as you can here, if you go to activities and, sorry, not plugins, extensions, so you can add in your Gmail account and various other things uh, so that it can help you respond to G emails in your Gmail account that are live, which is kind of okay, but for an extra $23 a month, is it worth it? In my opinion, not really. It seems like such a missed opportunity. It's like nearly there. I hope maybe they improve it. They add a version two. You could have added, I don't know, live search functionalities and a lot more to it. It seems like very safe play by Google. Am I going to be using this too much? Probably not. I much prefer the custom GPTs that I can build or the projects by Claude. But if you already are in the Google ecosystem and you're using Gemini uh, and you've got the paid version, it might be something to consider to start using because I could imagine that it can be useful. And that's it. 
Again, not a tool that I probably use for SEO. Um, if you wanna learn how to use a bunch of these new tools for SEO and really maximize your website search engine optimization, check out our free group. Apart from that, if you like this video, give me a little like and a subscribe. Cheers.